And new details at 10 in a deadly high speed chase through Aurora. A woman killed when the suspect's fleeing car slams into her. And 7 News reporter Jacqueline Allen is live at 13th and Pontiac in Denver, where the crash ended. Jacqueline, the chase reached speeds of 70 miles an hour. And you can see how fast it was going on impact. Take a look at this. The car left the road right here and tore up this grass and then left a path of oil all the way across the yard. The driver hit a woman, was just trying to drive across 13th. We need medical hot. We have an overturned vehicle. Party inside. At the end of a high speed police chase, the innocent driver of this car died. It looked like an explosion. Alex Valadez has been picking up crash debris from his front yard all day. Very senseless. It's a tragedy. But Aurora police say they followed strict pursuit guidelines. Was it safe to be driving at those speeds in this residential neighborhood? On 11th, on Yosemite, on 13th. I think they fall within our policy. Police say it all started at this home with the report of a woman shot through the basement window. Was shot in the arm and the leg total of three times. Uh, is bleeding heavily from both the arm and the leg. We recorded the path the driver took as police checked to make sure a chase was approved. Cars at the house, I wasn't clear. Do we have enough to pursue this car? Unknown, standby. We're still checking. Seconds later. You're authorized. You left the area then shooting until we get more. We'll stay with them. But within a minute, police say the suspect's car slammed into this car. The suspects all survived. Now police have to answer tough questions about whether the chase was worth it. It went on within the guidelines of our policy and, and someone tragically died as a result of it. And we checked the pursuit policy, and if the suspect's crime is a felony that involves deadly force, that chase does meet the criteria to begin. This one met other criteria as well. But we also talked to police. They say the man the suspects were trying to shoot before they crashed out here, the guy who was in the house they opened fire on, has not been cooperative. If he had given police more information, this chase may never have happened. Reporting live, Jacqueline Allen, 7 News. All right, Jacqueline, thank you. And 7 News began asking questions about Aurora's chase policy following this crash back in May. The chase hit speeds of 90 miles per hour along Quebec and Lowry. It also ended in a crash in an alley near 16th and Xanthia. Two officers suffered minor injuries. No one else was injured. Aurora police would not comment following that incident.